Hello, Greg Garcia. I'm going to tie a chubby Chernobyl for you. I uh, love this fly. It uh, works really well as a indicator fly. If you're going to fish some nymphs, drop a couple uh, nymphs behind it. It also works really well as an attractor pattern for that. If you want to fish it as a hopper, alter the colors a little bit. Or in this case, I'm going to tie it in red, which works really well for um, the, the stoneflies that come off here first of the summer, right before our runoff. Kind of give you a rundown on some materials. Start off with the hook, which is TMCO 5263. I'm going to do a size 10 here today. Uh, the thread itself is just some good old-fashioned Dansville 6 aught which also happens to be a 70 denier um, diameter in red. The next piece of material that I'll put on will be some accent flash or crystal flash. It goes by a lot of different names, uh, but just pearl crystal flash. Then the dubbing itself, I'm going to use some red dubbing. It's uh, from Hairline and it's just their, their regular rabbit. And then the foam itself is going to be a black two millimeter foam, closed cell. Of course, if you're going to fish this in a different color, um, you can alter that to tan. Same with the dubbing itself. You can go to a tan or even a gold. Uh, in some cases, even purple. And then the wing on this is going to be a product from uh, Montana Fly Company called Widow's Web. And this is just in straight white. And that would stay consistent on all of these flies. And also, last, I should say, the legs. Very important. Um, speckled sexy legs from Montana Fly as well. These things are really great. It's like uh, flexi floss uh, with some barring to it. Let's get started on this. So I'm going to start about one width of the bead behind and then I'm going to just go ahead and give ourselves a little thread base so I'll help uh, hold everything in place and make for a little bit more durable fly. I'm going to bring this right back down to the barb of the hook. And I'm going to pull out about, I'd say about 14 strands, 12 strands of this accent flash, crystal flash. And even up the butt section here, I'm just going to tie that right in, right where I started my thread. Bring this all the way back. So it's right over the barb of the hook. Now we're going to dub this body. I'm going to make a few passes here because this is a fairly big bug. It's uh, pretty thick. It's not real sparse. Start this right at the back. I'm going to bring this forward. Again, we're going to make a few passes here, so this will take just a little time. This red has become 
one of my favorite salmon fly patterns I'll fish this behind another bigger pattern like a big size 6 rogue stone which looks more like the adult which really on the water but uh, I'll tell you nine out of ten times the fish are eating this fly. It's a great pattern. Go on up to the front and then I'm going to make one more pass to the back. I should be done with all this stubbing. I also like to do small passes like this too because I think the body goes on tighter and becomes more water resistant versus if I just put on a bunch of dubbing all at once big old dubbing loop fly could be very waterlogged quickly Dubbing wax on my fingers here. That should do it. Okay. So now at this point I've taken some of this foam and I've cut it at about a quarter of an inch. You could also look at it as maybe the gap of the hook as uh, something that visually you could go in there and measure kind of give you a starting point I'm just going to put a little cut on the back there and then I'm going to put this on measure it so it just comes out to the bend of the hook Okay, so we've got that in place. Next thing I'm going to do is I've taken just one of these strands um, out of the package and I'm just going to cut this, just kind of fold it over on top of itself. I'll show you here on the screen. So I've just kind of folded it over. These ends are even. Then I'm just going to come in here and cut. those in two. Place them on top of the hook. And I'm going to slide these onto the side, on either side. Make sure those are tied in well. And then I've taken some of this widow's web and cut a big hunk out. You're going to have to uh, kind of determine how much and how uh, much of this you want on. But again, you know, maybe if I pulled that and compressed it, you know, maybe about the width of the hook again might be a good little starting point. I'm going to lay this on top, tie that in, we're going to get a little bit more dubbing on our thread, complete this rear section of this wing. So that's tied in there with a little dubbing and then what I'm going to do is come back onto this wing folding it backwards and uh, the stubbing is going to help make a little compression for this so this will stay down. I 
should also say when you pick how much of this widow's web you want, keep in mind that you're going to be folding it over on top of itself to make that wing. And that is the rear section of this fly. Um, I can come in here. I can cut this part off. I could probably cut these. as well. And now I'm just going to do perform the same thing right here at the front. Two of those, lay them on top. Got legs going everywhere. Sometimes you can get a piece of uh, lead wire, wrap those around your previous material and kind of get those out of the way if you don't want to mess with it. But I think we can work around this. Okay. Tomorrow my Widow's web. Also, this stubbing by going right in between the wing helps splay those legs out. It's going to run a little dam up there. And you can build a little head. Finish this and then we'll do a little trimming. Just tighten my thread, make sure it's seated in there. Cut this off, give it a little bit of room up front. It acts as a little wedge. If you want to strip this across a current, it uh, will move a little water for you. And then come in here, and I'm going to trim this at that same angle as the back wing. And that is our chubby Chernobyl. Great fly. As you can see, it's got a lot of wing material. Um, very floatable. I usually put floatant in here, get my little uh, yarn brush and move all of that uh, material floating through the wing so it stands up, floats better, trap a little bit more air. That is the chubby Chernobyl.